All right, we've got a pretty devastating story here, and this is um, Save James. Court scraps past ruling mom can transition son on dad's dime, report says. And this is from the Daily Wire. Uh, now, I don't know if you guys have kept up with the story of James Younger. Uh, J- James Younger is a little boy in Texas whose mom is convinced that he is transgender and is doing everything in her power to make sure that her husband, who does not believe the son is transgender, she's trying to make him do every, do every, she's trying to do everything in her power to make sure that he cannot stop her from transitioning their son. And not only that, he has to pay for it. This is likely going to upset a number of you, but I think it is important to cover. So last week, Judge Mary Brown appointed to the Save James Texas case in January reportedly scrapped a past ruling that allowed Jeff Younger joint conservatorship over his eight-year-old son, James Younger, uh, whom Jeff's ex-wife, Dr. Ann Gorgolas, claims is, tra- is a transgender girl named Luna. <sighs> The court has ruled in favor of child abuse in this case. They have ruled in favor of a, abusing a little boy by granting the right of the mother to decide for the boy what gender they're going to be before they are even old enough to understand these concepts. Now, Anne, who can reportedly enroll James as Luna in school without the father's consent, and Miss Younger, and Mr. Younger will have to pay $5,000 a month for the child's pro-trans counseling, as well as a $10,000 retainer required by the counselor. Ooh. This, this is infuriating. The George... The, the, I mean, the judge, the George, I was reading her name, George, uh, Gorgolis. Uh, the judge previously ruled that the father had just as much say over over the, the child's, the outcome of the child's case as the mother. And now he is having all of his rights, all of his say, and his son's well being thrown out the window so that his, so that his wife can unilaterally transition their son into being a girl. (sighs) According to court documents, Jeff wanted his two sons homeschooled. Jeff was awarded joint conservatorship last year, meaning that he'd have to to consent to parenting choices concerning James before his ex-wife moves forward, and vice versa. The father claims Gorgolis had... Her last name is Gorgolis. Doesn't she just sound like a monster? Dr. Gorgolis. I mean, it sounds it sounds like a Marvel villain. The father claims Dr. Gorgolis has been telling his biological son that he is a girl since he was three years old. So this is not something that the little boy has really been pushing. This is something that the mother is clearly pushing on the little boy. Probably a mother who wanted both a son and a daughter, or at least wanted a daughter, and is yeah. You know, there's there's got to be like some kind of Munchausen syndrome affiliated disease going on with this woman, where she would she would do this just seemingly because she wants a daughter. I I mean, of course, I'm speculating there. She hasn't come out and said just that. She, of course, claims that, oh, he's trans, but she has been telling the boy that, that he is a girl, since the boy was three years old. And that James, um, so, so let's see, the father claims that Gorgolis has been telling the, uh, his biological son that he is a girl since he was three years old, and that James wants to be a boy when he is with his father. Gorgolis claims James identifies as a girl on his own and is apparently transgender. I don't believe that. And even even if, for some reason, that the boy is saying, "Oh yeah, I feel like a girl." Here, there's a few things that could be going on. 
when you're talking about a boy that's that young, they just want to please their parents. So if the, if the mother has been telling him since he was three years old that he is a girl, he's likely going to say that in front of his mother just to, just to stay out of his mother's ire and to keep his mother happy. That's what children do. And also, let's not, let's not forget that, you know, when you're five, six, seven years old, you know, one day you're a goddamn transformer. The next you're a pirate. The next you're a girl. The next you're a baseball player. You know, th these are little kids. They don't understand these things. The Save James account is run by a supporter of Mr. Younger and a journalist in contact with the father. Jeff was hit with a gag order from Judge Kim Cooks in October 2019. So the dad isn't even allowed to talk about this. Captioning a photo of Jeff hugging his boys, J uh, James and Jude, a Facebook post from Save James said in part on Tuesday, James and Jude did not have a victory in court today. Judge Mary Brown has condemned James and Jude to a life of therapy, confusion, and abuse without even having a hearing. Wow. This, this judge just came in and just ruled on the side of the mother without having without hearing anything judge mary brown why does it not surprise me there are no words for what has happened today judge brown the post continues has forced james to live as luna in in a school surrounded by teachers and therapists who do not acknowledge that he has said, said multiple times to multiple people without Jeff around that he wants to be a boy and that he hates being forced to be a girl. He's being forced into this. This is the mother, this lunatic of a mother. I mean, she's even naming the, the, the kid Luna because she is a lunatic. She has forced Jude into a stressful existence of constant lies and misery as he watches his brother get destroyed before him without any hope to it for an end to this madness. Yeah. That's that's what this is. This is madness. And the court is saying, let it continue. This <coughs> excuse me. The government does not care about you. You have to know this. The government is mostly comprised of people that are either, that have an agenda, whether it's the agenda of upholding the Constitution, which is an agenda that is the is the agenda that people should have, because it is our Constitution, it is our founding principles, or you have people who are trying to push us into the progressive the, the, this progressivism and this this post modernity. And that this is clearly what this judge Mary Brown is doing. This is this is activism from the bench, and James Younger is a sacrificial lamb at the altar of progressivism, at the altar of this transgender ideology that tries to tell us that men and women are the exact same, that we are just interchangeable. It's not true. And, you know, these are the same people that like to say that the right is anti-science. Yet they want to say that men and women are the same. When you have to be omitting the most blatant and obvious biological truths, you have to be completely admitting them in order to come up with this conclusion. Yet we're the science deniers. Us conservatives. But a boy can be a girl. Just grab the gelding blade and go to work. And then boom, you've done it. No. That is not how this works. This is this is so, this is so disgusting and this is so abusive. And won this battle without even a hearing, the post says. There was, a, uh, there was a scheduled hearing set on August 11th, but the judge canceled it. There was supposed to be a hearing where Jeff could have, Jeff could have made his case 
as to why his ex-wife should not be allowed to chemically or physically castrate his son and that he should be forced to pay for it. And she canceled it. Judge Mary Brown, without even having a hearing, has wiped out thousands of dollars for Jeff. He had a writ of mandamus in place to appeal, the, to appeal her order that forced him into therapy. The writ of mandamus has cost him well above 15 k It is now gone. Jeff needs help with donations. Consulting lawyers, drafting responses, attending hearings easily racks his costs into the thousands. By now, Jeff has spent enough money to put James and Jude through medical and law school. This is insane. Yes, this is insane. That you have to throw away the financial future of these children just to make sure that the ex-wife doesn't cut his dick off. Let that sink in. The father has now had to expend so much money that could be used to raise the kids just trying to fight his crazy, lunatic ex-wife from chopping his son's dick off and he's losing this battle. The Post noted that a special evidentiary hearing is scheduled for September, though the exact date and time remains unknown. There's a sneaking suspicion that this hearing will be used to solidify Anne's dominance over Jeff, according to Save James. That, I mean, that sounds about right. And this is in Texas, of all places. You know, John Podesta recently in, in partook in some war games for the um, for the election where they would play out all the different scenarios that the election could play out and not in a not in a single instance did his war games play out where he allowed Joe Biden to concede the presidency to Donald Trump in fact one of the things that he play, that he chose to do instead of that was making the west coast state secede from the union before let before ceding the presidency to Donald Trump, maybe we should just go ahead and let the left left coast states secede from the union. California, I'll move back to Georgia or somewhere else. Washington, Oregon, let them secede from the union. So, so and and but they can't come to America. They can't keep going to places like Texas and bringing their damn politics with them. I've had enough of this. All right, guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video. Share this. Let James have his story told because this is insane. Um, also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Parlor at Ram Thorburn. And if you would like to uh, contribute to the channel, there are links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, and PayPal down in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And try not to let this kind of stuff get you down too much. We, we will win.